All right, guys. So uh, welcome back to uh, First Reaction. My name's Locke, and uh, today, this week, I'm actually going to talk about a documentary that um, started on Sunday, which is called The Last Dance by uh, ESPN and Netflix. And it's about the last season of the Chicago Bulls. Uh, if you guys are basketball fans, in 1997 to 98, it was uh, Michael Jordan's last year for the Chicago Bulls before he retired um, the second time. And uh, the reason why there's a documentary on this is because um, it was very controversial because uh, it was the last year for that whole basketball team dynasty Um the general manager Jerry Krause was just kind of stupid to uh, confirm that this is the last year for Phil Jackson, who is the coach for Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen and Rodman and just that that team uh, because they wanted to rebuild. And uh, I, you know, to this day, no one really knows why he wanted to do that because you're saying no to the greatest player of all time and potentially the greatest coach of all time. And Scottie Pippen, which is who is, you know, top ten, top fifteen, top whatever player you want to say. Um, I loved it. Uh, so every Sunday, they will be releasing two episodes starting uh, April nineteenth. It's it's a great great way to just watch sports again with this COVID nineteen happening, and uh, I loved it. Every second of it, I miss. I miss watching basketball. I miss all of it, and I'm really happy that they released this now when people don't really know who Michael Jordan is, kind or the you know uh, new basketball fans don't know uh, who he is or what he's done. Uh, they just kind of know the name MJ or the shoes, but they don't really know how he evolved basketball to uh, what it is today. And yeah, my first reaction is all I loved it. Everything about it is great. The theme song is so fantastic. The the Chicago Bulls theme song by uh the Alan Parsons project. It's called a uh, Siri Sirius. And um the end of the episode one where they were grabbing their uh their championship rings to Dave, uh, from David Stern and they were playing that theme song just gave me chills. And uh shout out to <laughs> Uh, also, the first episode, shout out to Rick Carlisle for uh, showing up, uh, getting dunked on by Michael Jordan. That was kind of funny to see him randomly there. Uh, Rick Car Carlisle is the coach of the Dallas Mavericks now. Uh, he's been for a while now. I'm really enjoying this because the love that they show for Scottie Pippen. He's always like the the guy on the side. Everyone always talks about Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan this, Michael Jordan that. It's like uh, he wouldn't have won anything without Scottie Pippen. And I'm very happy that they show love for him. And they keep saying he's like the Robin to Jordan's Batman. But, I mean, I don't even know if you can say that. I feel like it's um, it's more like Nightwing to Batman. Um, or even, I don't know, Superman to Batman. Just, just one of those duos because... Uh, yeah, I guess you could say yeah. They were both leaders of the team, and they both led the way to 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 six championships. Uh, to say that he's Robin is kind of real strange, um, but yeah, you know, it is what it is. The first two episodes is just background and uh, background on what's happening. Uh, the little the the movement of the time was kind of back and forth too much for me. But uh, you know, I I think it's because I know the storyline uh, already that it didn't confuse me. It could have confused. Uh, new fans out there but um you know they had to when they talked about michael jordan they had to like flash back to his the time he was in high school to north carolina getting drafted and then they like uh you know it went for they, they moved forward to like the summer of 1997 or something um when he has that famous quote talking about how teams should be playing until they lose something of them just paraphrasing not be broken up because the organization wants to rebuild, which is very, very dumb. Unfortunately, Jerry Krause, who's the general manager, uh, passed away, so he's not really in. Uh, th there's no new interviews of him uh, in, in the documentary. I don't know what it is. Maybe MJ, I'm not saying he was waiting for it, but you could tell MJ really does not like Jerry Krause because of this whole situation. And uh, all the rights to all the videos ever filmed during this year 
was all owned by Michael Jordan. So um, he had full power when to release all of this. And, you know, 1998 was a few years back. So, you know, just good timing, I guess, for, for everything and to, to look back and analyze all this stuff. And, of course, with the COVID-19, everyone's watching this. So, um, yeah, that's uh, my first, my, my, my take on the first two episodes. I might uh, be doing this every week, I guess, because I love basketball and I love watching all this. So, I highly recommend watching it. Um, if you have YouTube TV, you could uh, TiVo it and record it. Uh, I have a feeling, I think ESPN is playing the first two episodes every day. Um, so you could catch it whenever, um, but then the newer ones come out on Sundays. So, um, yeah, that's my take on it. Uh, I highly recommend it. It's kind of cool to see all these documentaries uh, getting funded, like a lot of money and they're doing series now instead of just one movie, because, um, I believe one movie doesn't really describe or tell that, tell that much information comparing to like a whole series. And this is 10 parts. So, um, you know, they're going very, very big into the little details of all of it. And, uh, you know, another shout out to Scotty Pippen because I just, I, I like him a lot and I feel like a lot of people need to watch, um, Scotty Pippen highlights. He was the LeBron before LeBron. He was the Grant Hill before Grant Hill. Um, yeah. So watch it. It's on ESPN. Hope you guys like it. And if you like us and what we do, please like, comment, subscribe, follow, do whatever you can to support us. Um, uh, just casual guys watching things and, uh, reviewing them or having random discussions about it. Um, you know, we're on Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, and, you know, the rest of the, all that stuff. Uh, thanks for the support. Thank you.